Remember, a Hallmark card when you care enough to send the very best. Tonight from Hollywood, the makers of Hallmark greeting cards bring you Jeff Chandler in Ben Hur on the Hallmark Playhouse. Each week, Hallmark brings you Hollywood's greatest stars in outstanding stories chosen by one of the world's best known authors, the distinguished novelist, Mr. James Hilton. James Hilton. Tonight on our Hallmark Playhouse, we dramatize a story which is not only one of the classics of fiction, and especially appropriate to Easter week, but was written by a man who, unlike most novelists, would have been quite famous even apart from his writings. Trained for the law, he switched to the army, served in the Mexican War of 1846, served again in the Civil War, where he became a major general, fought at the Battle of Shiloh, and could probably be said to have saved the city of Washington from capture by the Confederates. Later, he was a member of the court which tried the alleged conspirators against President Lincoln. Later still, he became governor of New Mexico and American minister to Turkey. All of this, you would think, made up a pretty considerable career. But when we add authorship of a world-famous novel, we know we are dealing with a very remarkable man indeed. His name was Lewis Wallace and he lived until 1905. And our story tonight is his unforgettable Ben-Hur. To star in it, we are fortunate indeed to have that notable actor and one of our old Hallmark friends, Jeff Chandler. And now here is Frank Goss from the makers of Hallmark Cards. When you want to remember your friends, there's one way to be sure the card you send receives an extra welcome. Look for that identifying Hallmark on the back when you select it. For words to express your feelings and designs to express your good taste, that hallmark on the back is your guide. Like the sterling on silver, it's a mark of distinction that all quickly recognize. And it tells your friends, you cared enough to send the very best. And now, Hallmark Playhouse, presenting Lou Wallace's Ben-Hur, starring Jeff Chandler. One morning, just about dawn, in the year 40 A.D., three figures climbed a hillside in the land of Judea. One was an old woman, a grandmother, staring through the half-dark toward the summit of the hill. Another was a man, his head raised, looking eagerly toward the east, waiting for the first thin line of gold in the sky. And the third was a boy, still rubbing the sleep from his eyes. Why did we get up so early, Grandmother? Well, it's still dark. Your father will tell you that, David. As soon as we reach the top of the hill, son. In a little while, the sun will rise over the walls of Jerusalem, the holy city. This hilltop will be radiantly golden, David. You will see. How the wind seems to sing. You are old enough now, David, to understand what we wish to tell you. Your grandmother and I will try to tell you the whole story, just as it happened. Hold my hand, David. Yes, grandmother. We saw him, David. Your grandmother and I. He walked the earth in our lifetimes. He touched our lives. He touched our lives, David. You will read about him, my son, and hear about him in sermons. But we saw him, David. We saw him. What we say here, you can tell your children someday, and they will tell theirs.
We will go back many years before I first saw him. My best friend, my boyhood companion, was returning to Judea after five years in Rome. I remember I ran down the street to meet him toward the Roman garrison. How I ran that day. Masala! Masala! Who calls me? Oh, welcome home, Masala. Ah, that's Judah Ben Hur. Well, how's the student? Well, I, I'm well. It's been a very long time, five years. Yes, so it has. How well you look in your uniform. This is a special parade uniform designed by the best artisans of Rome. We march today with a new procurator. Valerius Gratis? Yes, he arrives today. And there's a man who will teach the weaklings of Judea real Roman discipline. Miss Sala. Why do you stand there gaping like a child? Are you... You're so changed. Changed? Certainly. I'm a soldier. I, I'll never forget the day you left for Rome. You, you were my closest friend. Now you've come back almost like a prince, and yet... Yes? Yet I, I wish you were the Masala who went away. Oh, how provincial you are. I pity you, Judah. You have the weakness and sentimentality of a scholarly man, which makes you a typical Judean. Oh, I, I... Yours is a life with no opportunities. But I, hmm, the world lies before me. I bid you goodbye, Masala. I wish I had not come. I sought a friend and I find a Roman. Goodbye, Masala. Mother. Mother, are you home? I'm in here, Judah. Mother, I must talk to you. Such a sad look, my son. Is anything wrong? Tell me, am I a weakling? Who told you that? My friend, Masala. He has changed, Mother, very changed. You mean he has come back a Roman? Yes. Is sentiment a sin? Is reading a sign of weakness? Oh, Judah. Remember the glory that is ours. Against brutalism, our fathers erected. God. Judah! Judah, come quickly! Yes, Tertia. The soldiers from the Praetorium, they're marching right by our house. We'll climb up on the roof and watch. May I, Mother? Certainly, but be careful. The tiles on the roof may be slippery. With my brother's strong right arm to hold me, I could never slip. <laughs> come quickly, we'll miss the best part. Yes. Hurry, Judah, hurry! Oh, we'll never make it. Here we go. There. Oh, look at them. There's the procurator on the golden litter. Yes. Can you make out the sign above his head? In a moment. He's almost below us. Yes, Valerius Gratis, it says. Oh? New procurator of Judea. All hail. What was that? What happened? The procurator. There. Something fell on his head. There, it came from that roof. There's the man Peter. it. They're pointing to us, Judah. What happened? When I leaned out, a tile must have slipped off the roof. I've killed the Roman governor. Oh! Take down the doors. Take the entire family. Judah, he's not dead. He's getting up. Oh, blessed be the Lord God of our fathers. Come quickly. We, we must go to Mother. Oh, I'm frightened. I'll explain it was an accident. They'll not harm us. Come. That is the mother of the criminal. Centurion, take her prisoner. Let me go. Let me go. Take your hands from my mother. We've done nothing. Nothing but to attempt to assassinate the new procurator. Masala. There is your man. This is mother. This is sister. You have the whole family. It was an accident. Masala, order your men to leave. Get cords. Bind his hand. Remember our child. Order the women to the Tower of Antonia. Thus we treat traitors. The Tower of... Mother. Judah. And be quick about it. There is better entertainment in the streets. Lord, I pray you. In the hour of thy vengeance, let mine be the hand to put it upon him. For many years, I did not know, David, what happened to my mother and my sister. They boarded up our house. Without a trial, they sentenced me to life in the galleys. Oh, Father... They tied a thong around my wrists and fastened it to a chariot. They dragged me barefooted toward the seashore, toward the galleys. My feet bleeding, the yellow dust flying up in my face. Finally, 
we stopped at a seaport town. I lay in the dust of the road, my throat parched with thirst. I wanted only to die or to kill. And then suddenly I, I felt a hand touch my shoulder, gently, like a caress. I looked up and saw a face I have never forgotten. It was a young man about my own age. His hair was bright chestnut. His face was lighted by dark blue eyes. So good, so full of loving kindness. All my thoughts, my dreams had been of revenge, only revenge. I looked at him and my heart became as a child's. He placed a pitcher of cool water to my lips and I drank. He spoke not a word, but placed a tender hand on my forehead, and his lips moved in a silent, wonderful blessing. Through all the long months, and through all the dark years in the galleys, I had hope. There was gentleness in the world, there was kindness. There was a man who had holiness and tenderness and compassion. I knew that if one man could be like that, someday many men, perhaps all men, could be like that too. I saw in the village called Nazareth. Just a moment, we'll return to the second act of Ben Hur, starring Jeff Chandler. Remember the wonderful May baskets of yesteryear and how much fun you had leaving them on a friend's doorstep? Well, now your children can enjoy this traditional Maytime custom because May baskets are back. Yes, this year at fine stores that feature Hallmark cards, you'll find the new Hallmark May baskets. Here's all the charm of the old time May baskets brought to you in a modern way. You see, Hallmark May baskets are all cut out and ready for small fingers to put together. No scissors, no paste needed. And they're so inexpensive that children can give one to everyone they like. Since the Hallmark May basket package costs only 50 cents and contains five different baskets. Children enjoy giving May baskets they made themselves. Love to fill them with wildflowers, pieces of candy, popcorn. And with the new Hallmark May baskets, you'll find it's easy to teach children thoughtfulness to teach them the real customs and traditions of May Day, that day of flowers and friends and fun. So tomorrow, stop in at the store where you buy all your Hallmark cards and ask to see the new Hallmark May baskets. Remember, a package of five baskets is only 50 cents. You'll know it by that famous Hallmark and crown on the outside of the package, the same familiar Hallmark you always look for on the back of a card, when you care enough to send the very best. Now back to James Hilton in the second act of Ben-Hur, starring Jeff Chandler. It is the hour of dawn on a hillside overlooking the holy city of Jerusalem 1,900 years ago in the century of Caesar Augustus. A child of 10 looks up into the faces of his father and his grandmother as they wait for the sun to fire the distant horizon with gold. Father, the sky is getting gray. Yes, dear. Grandmother, what did they do to you and to Aunt Tirza? You're quite a man now, David. And you may know. Hold my hand very tightly. 
Yes, Grandmother. For eight years, we sat as dead ones in a black dungeon. They threw us a crust of bread, a cup of water. All that kept us alive was the love we had in our hearts. And love is God, David. In the darkness, we reached for the light. Oh, Tessa, let us have faith. Where is he, Mother? Where is my brother? On some distant sea today, on some island of the sea is tomorrow. But he is alive. I know this. A mother knows this. My hand. Mother, look at my hand. Tessa, try not to think of this. Say a psalm. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will... You were there. Mother. You ought to be released, women. Released? Valerius Gladys is no longer procurator. Pontius Pilate needs room for his own prisoners. All right, women, you may come out now. Unclean. Unclean. What's that? Do not come near us. We are... we are lepers. Oh, oh, Grandma. Do not cry, David. It will soon be morning. Let me tell you the rest. I finally managed to escape from the galleys during a sea battle. And I started back on the long journey to Judea. And on the way, I met a pilgrim, an old Egyptian whose name was Balthazar. Peace to you, my friend. And God be with you on your journey. And with you, good stranger. Can you tell me how far it is to Judea? I come from there. It is two days' journey. You come from Judea? Tell me, do you know of a family named Her? Ah, uh, yes, all Jerusalem knows. A great tragedy. Tragedy? The two women were set free, but in the vileness of the dungeon, they became lepers. Oh, no. They are friends of yours? My mother and my sister. I, I am Judah Ben-Hur. Oh, my son. Do not despair. Have faith. Faith? I shall devote my entire life to vengeance. I shall herd with wolves if need be. I shall grind every Roman into the dust, to the flames everything Roman, to the sword every Roman born. My boy, listen to me and believe what I say. On a December eve, 27 years ago, two companions and I walked across a desert, following a bright star. I do not wish to hear your story. You go to Judea. I urge you to listen. On that night, we found a child, newborn, in a manger in Bethlehem. We saw and worshipped him and gave him gifts. Melchior gave him gold, Gaspar frankincense, and I gave him myrrh. Why do you tell me this? I alone of the three whom they called wise. I alone have lived to know that this child has grown to a man, and the message he has brought the world fills the air of Judea. Love, he says, is greater than force. Love thy neighbor, as thyself. And where is this man who preaches such hopeless optimism? In the hamlets and villages, on the slopes of the mountains of Judea and Galilee. Only this evening he saw the sun set one day nearer the time when he himself shall become the light of the world. I did not believe, David, my son. I did not believe because of the bitterness in my heart. I found my enemy. I found him in Antioch, the Circus Maximus. He was a hero, a chariot racer. 
If I could defeat Rosella, justice would be done. For months, I trained a team of horses, and then the day of the contest arrived. My chariot was white, his scarlet and gold. I managed to get into position just to the right of him. He stood in his chariot, proud, defiant, beaming at the spectators. And then he turned and looked at me. I have heard that some unknown charioteer has dared challenge me today. I have heard that... Ben Hur. Yes, Miss Ella. You did not expect an old friend. But you are... Dead? No. Very alive, thank you. Sir, a weakling from Judea dares to challenge me. Masala! Look to your horses, Roman. You have given me strong arms and a back of steel in your Roman galleys. Look to your laurels, Roman! The team sprang forward, the manes of the horses singing in the wind. The reins were taut in my hands. The arena, a sea of faces, faded, blurry. Masala's face, a mask of fierce resolve. Side by side, his chariot and mine. A mighty pull on the rein, and the iron shot point of my axle caught Masala's wheel and crushed it. And he pitched headlong into the yellow dust like a dead dog. <laughs> This was the revenge I had prayed for. The Lord God had delivered my enemy into my hands. But there was no joy in my victory. My soul was empty. I came back to Judea, and everywhere I heard whisperings on the wind. A voice, they said, of one who was called the Son of Man. And everywhere his words. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And suddenly I remembered. And they were familiar to me. The voice, the face, the tender hand in the village called Nazareth. I searched everywhere for my mother and my sister, and I finally found them cringing in the darkness of a cave. Mother! Terza! Go away. Unclean. Unclean. Mother, it's Judah. Mother, I, I've come back. Judah, for what? the love of God, come no closer. But, Go but, away and forget you ever saw us. Think of us as you think of the dead. Mother. Do not touch me. No, no, no. Mother. No. Oh, my poor Judah. Now you are one of us who must live in darkness. No, no, Mother, listen to me. There is a wonderful man who has the power to cure you. He, he speaks a word and the sick are made well. Even the dead come to life again. I have come to take you to him. My poor Judah. No, no, as the Lord lives, I speak the truth. This morning he will pass by here on his way to the city. Come, take my hand. Dirts are my sister. I give you my other hand. We stood by the road. And he stopped and touched all of us, lightly on the foreheads. We believed, David, and we were made well again. We saw him, David. He walked the earth in our lifetimes. And on this day, ten years ago, the stone was rolled away from the sepulcher. And we heard as if it was sung on the wind, I am the resurrection and the life. How golden it is. It's a new day, David. A new day? When there is faith in your heart, my son, and kindness toward your fellow man, then every sunrise brings us renewal, and we live again. We are resurrected as he was. Remember this, David. Where there is love, there you will find God. It's a beautiful sunrise, Father. Now I know what it means. David, good morning. Oh, good morning, Father. Good morning, my son.
James Hilton will return in a moment. If you haven't already selected Easter cards for all the folks you want to remember, you'll still have time to do so between now and Sunday. At the finest stores across the country, you'll find hallmark Easter cards that say what you want to say, the way you want to say it. Cards with words so expressive of your feelings, your friends will imagine have had a personal chat with you. Cards with colors and designs as fresh as springtime itself. Cards that express the deep spiritual joy of Easter. Ones that tell your friends and loved ones you remembered and wanted to share the happiness of Easter Sunday with them. Tomorrow, when you're looking for Easter cards, remember to look for that distinctive hallmark on the back of the cards you select, because on Easter, as always, you'll want your friends to know you cared enough to send the very best. Here again is James Hilton. It was a pleasure to have you with us on the Hallmark Playhouse tonight, Jeff Chandler. Thanks for a first-rate performance. Thank you for inviting me, Mr. Hilton. You know, I have a very warm spot in my heart for the Hallmark Playhouse. And we all have the same for you, Jeff. You know, ladies and gentlemen, back a few years ago, Jeff was one of our most regular and valued actors on the Hallmark Playhouse. We have watched his success with pleasure and pride, and tonight we welcome him back as our star. I'm particularly glad it was tonight, Mr. Hilton, because... Well, I've been so busy I'd forgotten that Easter's right here. So when Frank Goss reminded us of Hallmark Easter cards, I said to myself, that's for me. Fine, and here's another reminder for you and all our listeners from the makers of Hallmark cards. Your cards, in fact, all of your mail, look even better when you use Easter seals. For you know that by buying Easter seals, you help to support crippled and physically handicapped children. I think that's a grand idea, Mr. Hilton. And what are you having on Hallmark Playhouse next week? Next week, we shall present our adaptation of an adventure story of the great Southwest called Doubtful Valley by George Garland. And our star will be Richard Widmark. Our Hallmark Playhouse is every Thursday. Our producer-director is Bill Gay. Our music is composed and conducted by David Rose. And our story tonight was dramatized by Lawrence and Lee. Until next Thursday, then, this is James Hilton saying good night. <laughs> Hallmark cards that are sold only in stores that have been carefully selected to give you expert and friendly service. Remember a Hallmark card when you care enough to send the very best. Jeff Chandler can currently be seen in Battle at Apache Pass, a Universal International Technicolor picture also starring John Lund. The role of Ben-Hur's mother was played by Virginia Gregg and Tipsa was Loreen Tuttle. Bill Conrad was Masala, Herbert Butterfield Balthazar, and Dick Beals David. You are invited to the Hallmark Hall of Fame every Sunday afternoon on television. Consult your paper for time and station. This is Frank Goss saying good night to you all until next week at this same time when Hallmark Playhouse returns to present Richard Woodmark in George Garland's Doubtful Valley. And the week following, Charlotte Bronte's The Professor, starring Joan Fontaine. And the week after that, R.D. Blackmore's Lorna Doom on the Hallmark Playhouse. KMBC, Kansas City, Missouri.